Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, another, I would say win. Yeah, another win. Uh, another review show. Today we're just going to do it a bit differently. Like usually we'll talk about more about the game. We'll talk about the game and about like response game comments about the game. Today we're just going to talk about because it's almost the end of the season. Or, uh, the end of the first part of the season. So winter break and the transfer Janu January transfer window is... Uh, around the corner and Arriva Bene made some quotes about it kinda like we made some quotes about it and I will talk about the lake which kinda fits into uh, the transfer market um, so as always like the video and subscribe to the channel also as you can see it's the last day today to go on Twitter and follow the rules to uh, participate in the jersey giveaway because it's the final day on Monday hopefully if everything works or on Tuesday we will be giving away a jersey by choice so yeah let's get into it so Bologna we won the game that's kind of positive the performances the performance wasn't good it hasn't been good all season uh, I don't think it will change drastically until the end of the season I think this is the way we hopefully will make top four um, I think like you said after the game we knew it was going to be difficult we knew we will struggle to compete or even make top four. I was kind of shocked about it. Like, is it, does the club really believe, or Allegri came in and they really believe they're not going to make top four when he came in with this squad? If that's the case, I think the situation is even worse than we are portraying. Like, if the management and Allegri believed at the start of the season that it would be very difficult to make top four, that's kind of shocking because I expect us to make top four with this squad without any real difficulties especially if you bring back an experienced manager like i get that Pirlo struggled but what, what is happening now shouldn't be happening but that's a different subject we'll talk about more about the market because even against bologna you can see we are missing something like he played arthur and it wasn't good uh, and we know allegri is not really a fan about art oh. he's not really a fan of arthur because and I want I don't want to say defensively, but just like his off the ball his off the ball uh, things he do are not good enough for Allegri. Um he's not a player that likes to put in a tackle or not even a tackle to to um make a contrast or do a duel or stuff like that. Uh, a bit like Pjanic did. Um and I think after the game, Allegri took some shots uh, at him, saying he plays a bit too slow at times, he makes some wrong decisions at times, and especially in the second half, like, I pulled him off based on those things. And then he said also because he didn't play much, which I think was basically a cover-up thing because he was saying some outrageous things, like, they were true, but he was. I think he felt like that he was basically calling him out a bit. I think it's done, like, the reports are pretty clear that even his manager said it, like, he needs to play more, and I don't think he's going to play a lot with Allegri. Um, so that's that. But after the game, he said, this squad is excellent. These players can improve in self-confidence, conviction, and reaching uh, their goals. We will improve on a technical and tactical level and in results. Now, we said it many times, like, we have some bad players in the squad, 100%, that's true. But at the end of the day, we still should be doing better than what we're doing now with, with the current squad. Like, it's, I don't want to say it's not, it's not possible, but like, it shouldn't be the case that all, not all, but like 14 players are playing badly. Or even in the games, like there are, every game there are like six players below average. Or you know what I mean? Like, that's not normal. Um, even when the quali if the quality of the squad is not good enough. Like, just look at other teams with less lesser quality in the squad. They don't have those issues. Not to this extent. Not do this obvious. That you, you watch a game and you're like, oh my god. You, you, you just pick them out. Like, um, Keane and Arthur and Rabio and Petancourt. So many players in, in one game that are playing badly. And then the next game, the same thing has happened. The same players. That's also coaching. Like... As a coach, you should be, I would say, mass that. Because, like, you're not going to replace 70, 15, 11 players at once. That's not possible. 
Not even if you're Man City or Chelsea. That's not possible. Um, so, I don't know if we're going to improve, but we should be improving. And that's on that's his job. Like, he's a coach, and that's his job. That's why he came back. That's why he's earning um, 7 million euros. That's why he got a four-year deal, which the club never gives out, hands out some, a long-term deal for a coach, four years. Um, so, that's on him. Uh, and we need to improve. Again, he thinks we're going to improve. I don't really know. Like we thought about, we thought that when we won against Chelsea, Torino, you know that one nil streak. We all thought, okay, we're solid again, and from this point on, we will go on and go on to a streak um, based on being solid. It didn't happen. Then again, we picked up some uh, results and we dropped back. Like it's it's an ongoing cycle, to be honest. Um, so let's see. This squad is not excellent. <laughs> he can say that. That's fine. I see people getting angry about it. He's not going to say, I have an average squad. I, he said it. He said, like, we're a mid-table squad a few weeks back. I would say two months back. But he's not coming out and saying, I have so many awful players. Um, but he's lying. Like, this squad is not excellent. Um, a lot of people, a lot of pay- players are digressing or just stagnating. And that's okay, but they're stagnating at a very low level, and that's not okay. And then we move on to basically the biggest news, not the news, the biggest thing on this video, and that's Riva Bene's comments. Um, a lot of people are going mad about it, which I don't really understand, because everything he said, we knew. So he said, we're in the final stages for the capital, in- capital increase, it serves it serves, so it will help to give stability to the club, not to make the threat the like how do you say glamorous, like glamorous moves and on the market. We will do what the financial situation tell, tells us to do. We will not be particularly interesting or challenging or a ja- challenging gen- January transfer market. So we all knew the capital increase was not for transfer. It's transfer. It's to cover up costs uh, because of. Uh, the pandemic, the losses we they we, we took, and to um, ensure that we can still develop off the field. And with off the field, I mean uh, training complexes, not just for us, for the women's team, for the youth. That's basically under one under one domain. Like that's that's how it works. So we all knew that. Then he went on saying, "We're not going to make glamorous signings on the transfer market." Is anyone surprised? Like. Just take like five minutes to look in our financial situation and it's pretty obvious we don't have the capacity for it like we cannot go out and sign Frankie De Jong or go out and sign Chouamini like not even Chouamini he's not even a real superstar he's a very good player but you know what I mean like it's not a super superstar and we cannot even do that at the moment and that's that's a reality and that's why me and Julian keep saying it every deal we're gonna do now probably need to need to be spot on like we already missed the bullet in my opinion with uh, we already missed the transfer with Keane because yeah he's playing badly I think he will pick it up somehow but like even at his best he won't be a world beater like he won't be changing life for us it won't happen um so but for now on from January in the summer moving on we need to take kind of baby steps because I said it like Sakaria. I think he will be very good under Allegri. Now, is he what we need to to be as dominant as we were all these years? Probably not. But we need to go from Betancourt to Zakaria to I'm just saying something to a level of player as a Chomini or name it but we can at the moment we cannot go from Bittencourt to Chamini. one because I doubt those players want to come and two we don't have the financial capacity for it so we need to take baby steps once again and we need to do very smart moves and above all moves that make sense don't just sign free agents because they're free like look at the squad now we have so many holes in the team like if one player um, drops out it's not like we have a 
a uh, like for like replacement. We don't have that in many positions. It's it's moving pieces. It's and that's fine. You can move some pieces, but if you need to move so many pieces, it will become a mess. Like this team, the way it's built, it's not good enough. Um, and that's why I said don't get your hopes up for January. Even if you have money for January, teams are not selling their best players. Like you can get players like Martial, maybe from the big um, players other teams don't want uh, and maybe it's not like you have a free choice quote unquote you're getting players other teams are fine with losing like a bit like we with Arthur and Ramsey uh, it's basically the same thing um, so I don't expect much about, uh, about the January transfer window my expectations aren't that high I don't think we're doing anything I, I keep saying it um, maybe sell some players or ship out some players but I don't really think we're doing anything in January I really don't. Uh, I will be very surprised if we do, to be honest. Um, but those are Arriva Bene's quotes. I don't get a, have a real problem with it because that's a reality. Um, you just can't go out and splash some money. Like We have done one of the, what's the cheapest deal, like one of the craziest deal for Locatelli. Like the way it's structured, uh, if you just read how that deal is structured, you will understand why we have no money. That's it. Um, so that's a transfer market. Now I will go to the next quote, with, which kind of fits into the transfer market, uh, in my opinion. Uh, not maybe directly, but so he said, because during the game he was yelling at someone. I don't know who. I think it was Betancourt. If somebody knows, let know, let us know in the comments because nobody knows. But I think it was Betancourt. Um, and he said, I always want to win everything Basically, I will do everything to win. I don't understand when players make mistakes in their mentality. When you make technical mistakes, it's fine. But the mentality of doing everything for the team is important for me. That's why I got angry. Now, we know, like that's basically what he's saying. He knows. He knows that in this squad, we have some players that are meant, their mentality is on the floor that's it uh, they're just weak and um, they cannot take criticism uh, if they're not playing great they will drop their heads and that's what Allegri said about Arthur in the second half when the pressure was kind of on he, he he gets lost like he, he was lost he didn't know what to do anymore um, like and he's basically saying the like I need players or I want to play with players who even when it's tough they will still put in a shift they will do the bare minimum and track back and put in a tackle or at least close down uh, passing lanes. Like, just do the basic stuff. Uh, that's basically what he's saying. And I will link that with the transfer market. Also because outgoing, we have a lot of those players in the team and they need to leave. They, they do need to leave because it's happening for many years now. It's not, it's not just this season or a few weeks or a few months, a few games minutes it's a few years for some now um and it's not gonna change um i agree the mentality of some of these players are not good enough and when players are coming out uh, and say saying that basically that's all you need to know uh, like because he's coming out saying that and he's thinking that probably in training or every game and that's not a healthy environment if a player is basically looking at someone else in front of him in front of him and saying oh my god I need to play with him. He's not going to do that. I need to cover him or stuff like that. Just in general. That's not a positive environment. That's that's not a winning environment. If if you have players in the squad worrying about other players messing up. That's not okay. That's, that's really not okay. And especially not technical. Because it's like the Lakes say it. Just mentally. Like just switching off. Not doing the bare minimum. And as, as a player very high level like the lake and you're just out there and looking at some of those players and you're thinking even during the games you're thinking like they're not doing what they should be doing like not even the bare minimum it's frustrating i get that and that's why i will link that with the transfer market because a lot of these players need to leave and we need to bring in players who have a different mentality a winning mentality basically a mentality um about winning and I think a lot of players who are on big contracts, they don't really care if they're playing a bad game. Like they, they're fine. 
that's that's the vibe I get from players like Rabio and Alexandro. Like it's like they really don't care. Like I'm getting paid either way. That's the feeling I get from them. Because like you cannot be playing that badly week in week out for a few years now. That's insane. Uh, and it's I don't say like it's it's stripping on to other players or it's frustrating other players like the league who's frustrated about it. Um so so let's see. Again. If you have a chance to make top four, let's see after the Cagliari game and you can bring someone in who can actually make a difference in January, then do it. But don't bring in panic buys. Like, don't waste any money when you're already short on money. Just don't do it. It needs to be a decent move. It needs to be a player who's going to con- contribute, who's going to add some quality to the team basically immediately because there's no time to adapt, but also going forward. Like, is he going to be useful w- useful moving forward into the next season, the season after that? That's the most important thing. Um, so, yeah, that's a review show. Uh, a bit different than usually. Um, also because the transfer market is around the corner. Um, <clears throat> and we will see if we will do something. Uh, it's going to be clear. It will be clear very soon. Uh, I think before the start of the new season, you will... Uh, b- before the start of the new year, you will hear some rumors more concrete rumors from more decent uh, sources um but let's see um so yeah as always like the video subscribe to the channel we are close to 2k that's um insane we never expected it um also the last day to participate in the giveaway go onto twitter you just need to retweet the tweet tag a friend and subscribe to the channel and you will get into the draw that will happen on monday Hopefully, if not, it will be on Tuesday after the game because it's kind of, it's a busy period for all of us. Uh, but we will announce a winner um, at the start of next week. So thanks for joining, for watching the video, and see you in the next one.